Hey, are you guys ready to get started on getting focused? Do you ever feel sometimes like your scattered cat that runs in circles? My husband and I joke about that a lot, that sometimes I am the best circle maker ever. Like I can just go, 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 and don't get anywhere, right? And so I really work on focusing on getting from point A to point B instead of point A to point A to point A to point A. So I'm gonna tell you about some of the things that have helped me get from point A to point B. And this is the time, you guys, to figure out what works for you. Because the more you can get focused, the better you'll do. All right, so we're gonna go through a few slides and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this. So. Number one goal for this section is getting focused and not being that scattered cat. So when I first graduated college, I was a school teacher and I was so, so excited to go get my first real job. And I mean, I'd been making like $9,000 as a student and to get $28,000 a year, I was like, oh, that is so much money like triple my income, I'm gonna be so rich, right? Well, then I got married and then I had a baby. And then I realized that that paycheck wasn't so much, $28,000 for a family of three. Mm. And then another slap in the face was, they're like, oh, by the way, you qualify for food stamps. And I'm like, what? No. I just did four years of math and science studying it and you're telling me that I qualify for food stamps and can't even support my family now my husband was in school full-time so don't like don't think he was a slacker he was busting his rear end too right and then we had this newborn baby and we're like oh this hmm, this isn't right right? Are you guys, do you guys, I'm I'm sure you know that pain of your sitting and you're like, oh my gosh, I, my bills are two plus two equals four, but my bills are five and six, right? And you just don't have enough money to do that. Well, guys, this is what this course is for, helping you get focused so that your numbers can meet and then you can have some left over. This can become your reality too. Okay, so a few things that I want to tell you about. Let me go back to this one real quick. So my first journey, my first entrepreneur bug that bit me was when I was teaching. And I was like, oh, maybe I should start a tutoring business. You guys, I called it step ahead tutoring. And I could tutor for one to two hours after school, but I was working so much as a new teacher that it was just starting to wear on me. So that's when I figured out that I could start hiring my independent contractor tutors, other teachers to go out and they made money, right? And then I made a part of it too. And that's when I was like, bing, that's when the entrepreneur journey started for me. And I was, I think I was like forced into this and you guys, I loved teaching. I absolutely love teaching. I taught eighth grade and those guys made me so happy, but food stamps didn't make me happy. No, I, uh, uh, I was going to work hard to get off that and be able to support my family until my husband was able to go to school or graduate from school. So what I've learned over the years of when I started that very first little tutoring business on the side to now is something called power hours. Do you guys know, have you ever felt that? So power hours are working like there's going to be no internet tomorrow or that you're working like you're going out of the country tomorrow and you don't know what's about to happen and you cram everything in there. You get so focused and like magic happens. And you can find those power hours during the day. Some people say it's from five until eight o'clock in the morning before their kids get up. Some people, they put their kids in bed at nine and from nine until midnight are their power hours. Or they find out, as a, you know, during nap time or whatever it is, find your hours that you can do power hours and just 
totally 100% focus. So here are some of the things that I have found that have really, really helped me with my power hour. Okay, headphones. Like, you know, the big, huge, dorky ones where it looks like you've got earmuffs on? When those headphones are on, it means business for me. I can block out the world and I can focus on getting what needs to be done. So I encourage you to get some headphones. I have some uh, sound blocking out ones and it actually makes me a little dizzy. So you don't have to get the super crazy ones. Uh, I The ones that I have are perfect. They block everything out. And when I put them on, you guys, it's game time for me. So find headphones that can help you block out the world. And even if, even if you're alone, like when those headphones go, headphones go on, you know it's business. Okay, work versus Netflix. Guys, how many Netflix shows do you watch? Oh, yeah, me too, right? I used to be such a Netflix addict, but now instead of watching Netflix, I've turned it into working. And I get a whole lot more done. I remember watching a few shows and um, House. Yeah, it was House. And my husband's like, what you do today? And I'm like, I just watched House. And at that time of my life, I just needed to check out for a little bit. But now I don't, I haven't watched Netflix for so, so many months. I don't even know the last time I watched a show. And I know guys totally geeking out, right? But I'm on a mission and I want to make it happen. Put the headphones on, Netflix is off. Um, and magic happens. Magic absolutely happens. And then listen when you're doing the dishes. Listen when you're driving. Listen to these courses. Listen to podcasts. Listen listen to things that will help you be better, help you be stronger, whether it's motivation, whether it's entrepreneur uh, ideas, but just listen to it all the time. Turn off the music, have silence, and just think. Because sometimes our brains are so cluttered, right? So cluttered. Sometimes that silence is perfect. And then you can really focus on getting things done. And then here's one that I absolutely love. Hang out with those you want to be like. So I'm in this mastermind group. I'm actually in a couple of them. And the reason why I'm in these mastermind groups is because I want to be like these guys. They're successful. They've learned how to balance work and family. And I want to be like them. I don't want to go hang out with you know, people that are eating Cheetos on on Netflix. I mean, every once in a while, that's great, right? But you guys, I want to make things happen. I want to change my destiny. And eating Cheetos isn't going to change my destiny. It's probably going to make me really sick to my stomach. So hang out with those you want to be like. And I say hang out. I don't mean like go over to their house and sit on their couch, right? Listen to them. Be in their life. Read their stuff and figure out how they're learning and growing. That's what this course is for, you guys. And that's what we have the Facebook group for, is so that we can learn together and we can grow together. Now remember, okay, this is a huge one for me. You guys, you, you can do anything, but you cannot do everything. As an entrepreneur, you're going to see more glitter and more squirrels and get so distracted like that's how our brain works we're like oh that's a good idea oh that's a good idea oh that's a good idea and even though that's amazing and beautiful sometimes that can be our worst feature because we don't stay focused we just are like okay next 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 focus on one thing you can do anything but you cannot do everything. So I am going to challenge you to make this course a priority. Promise me that you will finish this course before you start another. Promise me that you can have a taste of success with this course. I know you can. I've done it over and over again. And I've had people tell me that this has changed their life. And it's time for you to change your life now. Here's another thing that really is hard. But if you say yes, you're saying no to something else. And I'm going to tell you a little story. And I mean, judge me if you want to, but the outcome of it 
was awesome. And I, I, we'll get into detail a little bit yet in a little bit. But I know uh, I've got some friends that say yes to every single thing. They're too afraid to say no. And I remember two years ago I said, all right, I'm going to start saying no to everything because then it frees up my time to what I really want to do. So last year, fourth quarter, I was maxed. I was working probably 16 hours a day on one of my companies called Pick Your Plum. And we were just trying to do our hardest. It was fourth quarter. It was game time. We were so excited about everything that was happening. And my uh, church, now I love my church and I volunteer all year long. But they asked me to do this, to help decorate this Christmas party. And I said, uh, no. And part of me felt guilty. But then I'm like, no, get that guilt out of your head. Because if I say yes to decorating to this Christmas party, that meant I was saying no to family. And instead of decorating, you guys, I went skiing with my family that I hadn't been with very much for about a month. Just because it was so awesomely crazy down at Pick Your Plum and I was trying to get these pieces going, right? That I had to say no so I could say yes to my family. So don't feel guilty about saying no. You do want to volunteer your time. You do want to be a part of the community. Absolutely. But it's okay to say no during certain times of the year. Don't feel guilty. You can say no. There's other people that can step in. And then when it calms down, when you've got things set up, when it's not fourth quarter, you're not shipping out all your packages, then first, second, and third quarter is when you shine. And that's what this church group, they've actually learned. Okay. We can't ask Allison to do it fourth quarter, but first, second, third, she's our gal. And that's what we want. That's what I wanted is to know when I'm on fire and I, I, I need any extra time. I cannot have the guilt in my head because so many things are happening. So guys, my message to on this one is you get focused and you get results and any extra time that you have with you saying no, then that means you're saying yes to your family or yes to your loved ones. And isn't that what this is all about? Creating that time to be with your loved ones. Okay. Get focused, get results. I'm so excited you guys are doing this and I'm going to see you in the next lesson.